All right, so I wanted to do a quick video on how, on getting started with App Center, how you can get set up um, using, for instance, the analytics uh, to see how many times your app has been installed, which devices, so forth, as well as diagnostics, um, help you see where maybe there's problems with your app um, so that you can be aware of those. So if you come to this website here, appcenter.ms, um, click on documentation. That's where you're going to find out everything you need to know to get started with App Center to get set up. You can see there's a lot of services here uh, for doing builds based off your repositories, uh, GitHub, and so forth. Um, you can test it, distribute it to user or test groups. Then there's authentication, data, uh, push notifications. All of this is built into uh, Visual Studio App Center. Uh, but we're going to fo focus on the, the last two in each column, the analytics for getting information about statistics for your app and then the diagnostics, which helps you with crashes, errors, so forth. So we're going to go back here to our App Center page. You will need an account, so you want to click on Get Center. You can use your Microsoft account, GitHub, Facebook, Google, so forth. I already have an account, so I'm going to click on that here at the bottom. I'm going to sign in. And when you first sign up, it will ask you for uh, a name. For instance, if I come over here to my settings, it's going to ask you um, basically for a username. Uh, so you're going to want to put that in. You can put in whatever you want. Um, and then your, your setup, you come to this page and you're, you're good to go. Um, before you can integrate App Center into your app, you need to create an app here in App Center. Sounds confusing, but it's very simple. Click on this Add New App button. Enter a name. We're going to call it App Center Demo, and this one will be uh, iOS. I like to put the, uh, the OS at the, at the end because you have to create one app per platform, regardless if you're doing cross-platform development in Visual Studio or not. So we'll click the uh, or we'll App Center Demo Dash OS is our name. Um, we're going to do a release of production. That's fine. Our OS is iOS and then our platform. Uh, what are we using? Uh, I'm using Xamarin and we'll click Add New App. And just that simple you have your app created and this is what uh, your app will communicate to provide the analytics and so forth. And so here where it mentions add App Center's SDK to your app, um, it mentions a few things you need to do. Now this is if you're using Xamarin iOS, for example. If you're using Xamarin Forms, you click on this button here, and then you can add all of this information here into your app.xaml.cs file. So we're gonna do that, but before we do that, we wanna create another app. So we're gonna go back to our name here at the top, we're going to add a new app here to the top right. And same thing, app center demo, this time Android. And we'll select production as well. Our, I, our OS will be Android. And you notice when I click on Android, this top option changes Java Kotlin versus Objective-C Swift. Uh, so we'll click on Android. Again, we're using Xamarin. And we'll click add new app. So same thing, present with the same information, uh, but this time the, the, uh, this Xamarin tab is specifically for Android, so it goes into the main activity, but since we're using Xamarin Forms, we'll click on that. And so now we need to copy this code over into our Visual Studio app. So we'll create a new app, open up App Center here, we'll create a new project, and I'm gonna call this App Center Demo. Um, and then here under uh, project types, I've selected mobile, uh, and that's what gives us this cross-platform um, Xamarin Forms. Of course, you can search for it, but it's just easier to change your platform to, or your um, project type to mobile. So we'll select the mobile app, Xamarin Forms, and click Next. And App Center Demo. Actually, I didn't need to do App Center Demo in the first, that was a search box. I got that wrong. So 
Um, we can copy it to our repos directory or wherever we want to copy it to. That's fine. We'll create this. Um, and you'll need to go through to really understand this. Hopefully, you already understand setting up a, a, a file new project. Um, shell is a new form or a new project. Um, for our demonstration today, we'll just use a blank app. Um, we can go ahead and add UWP for our blank app. It currently is not supported with Shell, as you notice. Um, but just for this purpose, for demonstration purposes, we can add it. Just to show you that how the, the App Center works across all three platforms. We'll give our, our project a second to spin up. While that's working, we're going to want to go into our app.xaml.cs file. And we want to use these using statements at the top. So we'll just click on copy to clipboard here. Go back over to Visual Studio. And we're going to set up our startup project as our Android project. All right. So we're going to come into our app.xaml.cs file. Before we do this, we do need to add the SDK to our project. If I go back over to my instructions here, it does say add the NuGet packages, right? So we're going to do that. Right click on our solution, manage NuGet packages. I have an update, we'll cancel that. And then under browse, we're going to do a search for App Center. Um, we want these, this uh, main one. We want to install that into all of our projects, so we'll install that first. And we'll accept. And then we're going to select our analytics here. And same thing, in all our projects, we'll install that. And accept. And then finally, we're going to do crashes. We'll select crashes and install that. Now you'll notice there's others. There's the distribute, there's push, uh, there's data. We'll accept that. There's data, there's auth. Uh, if we scroll down a little bit, I believe there's some other ones. For now, we're just going to get started with analytics and crashes. Um, which crashes is our diagnostics over in App Center. Uh, it used to be called crashes. They've changed the name. So we can close this down. And up here at the top, I already copied our using statements. So I'm just going to paste those in. Right click, paste. There's our using statements. Um, now we'll go back over to our instructions. Easier this way. And we're going to copy this app center um, into our onStart method. We want to copy this entire thing. Uh, what this is doing is it's giving us, by default, our Android secret, app secret. Um, our UWP and our iOS will have to copy those in. And then we have type of analytics and crashes. So let's go ahead and copy this to clipboard. We'll come back over here. In our onStart, we will simply paste that in here. So we have our Android app secret. We need to find our iOS app secret and our UWP. So we'll come back over here. We'll go to iOS. And all we need to do is copy what's in parentheses here. Uh, so we right click on that and copy. Go back over to our app here. And we'll right click here. We've got this selected and paste that will Replace that. And then we need to do UWP as well. We didn't create an app for that, so we'll go ahead and do that real quick. We'll create a new app. Um, app Center Demo and UWP. We'll select Production, Windows, UWP, and that is fine. Add new app. So we want to copy in our code here. Again, this app secret. Copy that, and we'll go back over to Visual Studio, and we'll replace this here, and paste. 
And believe it or not, that is all we have to do to get started. Um, this will, when our app starts, it will create that communication um, to our apps that we've created here in App Center. And we're doing type of analytics and type of crashes. If we want to add others, we can do that. But for now, we're fine. We'll save this. And let's see. I'm going to pull up my, my phone here on Visor. We'll view this. And we'll let this run over here. So we will... Press play here. Give this a second to deploy. Make sure my camera is not covering that. Make this a little bit larger. And this does work um, in the Android emulator. Uh, it also will work in the iOS simulator. Because all it's doing is communicating to the back end. Um, but when we get into other things, which we'll discuss later, like authentication, we will need to use um, actual devices. Um, but if you were using an emulator, this would work as well. So we'll give this a second to deploy. It's deploying, succeeded. It should start here in a second. And it's just going to say, welcome to Xamarin Forms. Nice and simple. Nothing much to it. But notice, if we go back over to our app center here, and we go over to our Android app, now we can click on our analytics tab. And it's going to pull in analytics. I have one device connected. It's an LG G6. It tells me the device. It tells me um, what version, down here at the bottom, what version of the app they're using, what language. Um, it also tells me the OS. So this is on 26, it looks like, of the Android SDK. So that is App Center for Android. Let's go back over here. We'll stop this. Very quickly, we'll deploy this locally on our Windows machine. So we'll do our local machine. Set UWP as our startup device. And we'll give that just a second. And if you notice, when I come over to my UWP and I go into analytics, there's nothing there, right? But now that my app's starting up, again, it's going to come up, say, welcome to App Center. No, it's not. It's going to say, welcome to Xamarin Forms. There we go. Now, if I come over here and refresh this, I should have analytics. Oh, well, it's trying. Uh, let's go ahead and we'll come back to that. And in the meantime, we'll try our iOS simulator. So I have my Mac here. Hopefully my everything's up to date. We'll switch this over to an iPhone simulator. And we'll start that. So it's building that currently. We'll give it a second. Should start up my iOS simulator here in a second.
Oh, it says Bill succeeded. Let's try this again. Something happened. There we go. Now it's going to start my simulator. And again, we should get a welcome to Xamarin Forms. If you were to try this on an actual, if you were to try this on an actual iOS device, you would need to make sure it's provisioned um, within your developer account before you could use an actual device. So that's it's just easier for now to use the simulator. Welcome to Xamarin Forms. We can stop that. And we'll go back over. We'll refresh this UWP, see if that came in. There we go. So our UWP uh, is showing our statistics now. It's showing our OS of Windows 10 dot whatever. Uh, the device, the app, um, the app version number, languages, etc. So let's go over to iOS now and we should see the same information same type of information under analytics here. Again, one device, it's a simulator, it even knows that, so that's nice. It knows the OS version, and again, the active um, users, what version of the app they're using. So there you have it, um, Microsoft App Center. Um, I do encourage you to go over to the App Center documentation. Let's, uh, Pull that up real quick because I want to show you in under analytics you can do uh, custom events so if you want some more information on custom events you'll want to click on this link here um, and it shows you how you can do custom events and if we come back to our diagnostics one nice thing that we can do here is we can inside a try catch enclosure we can track our errors. Uh, so for instance, it gives us this block of code. We can do a try and then here's our catch. And all we have to do is do a crashes.track error with the exception, or if we want to put something else in there, we can. Um, and that will track in App Center. Right now, if you notice, if we go back into App Center, if we go into one of our apps under diagnostics, uh, there is nothing because we haven't crashed, right? Um, but it also shows us here how we can how we can keep track of that. So um, that's App Center in a nutshell. Very easy to get started tracking your analytics, statistics, diagnostics, and crashes. Uh, in another video, we'll go into a little bit more detail on some of these other features. But uh, appreciate uh, taking the time to watch this, and please leave your comments below, either on YouTube or here on my blog. Thank you.